time travel is one of science's most puzzling concepts. On just one subject, hundreds of books and thousands of articles have been published. Is time travel, however, a real possibility or merely a fantasy? In this video, I'm going to analyze this topic in two aspects. The first aspect is based on modern science and scientific theories, while the second aspect is based on ancient Sanskrit text of Hinduism. Hello everyone, welcome to another interesting episode of From Brahmach. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then click the subscribe button and please don't forget to hit the bell icon. Also, please feel free to share your suggestions and opinions in the comment section below. What is time travel? How does it work? Time travel is a concept in which we can travel ahead and backward in time, that is, to the past or to the future. However, is it only a concept or is it possible to achieve? To understand this, we will divide our discussion into two parts. The first will be based on modern science and the second will be based on Sanatana Vedic Hinduism. Time travel in modern science the scientists we know about time travel today are Einstein and Stephen Hawkins. Let me introduce you to time travel through simple words. The special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity were used by Einstein to explain time travel. He claimed that if we travel at the speed of light, we will be able to go across time. However, an object cannot achieve speed of light since our science has not progressed far enough to allow us to travel at the speed close to that of light. This universe, according to Einstein, has four dimensions, the fourth of which is the dimension of time. Einstein claimed that light could be turned. Whereas we have been taught since school that light travels in a straight line. Turning light would require a very strong gravity. He stated that time is tied to gravity and that where gravity is greater, time will be slower and where gravity is lower, time will be faster. We can detect a tiny variation between two atomic clocks if one is placed on the satellite outer space and the other on the earth. Why? Because atomic clocks are capable of measuring significantly shorter time period which shows that the time has the effect of speed and gravity. Einstein say that we can also time travel with the help of a black hole because they have a lot of gravity. That is, Time will be very slow there, but we have to pass through the black hole at the speed of light so that we don't get trapped in the black hole. Both scientists' theories reveal that time travel is only possible in the future, not in the past. Okay, now let's see how time travel works in Hinduism. When we look into Hindu scriptures, we discover a lot of evidence that time travel is possible. Okay, let's get started, shall we? The story of ancient Hindu king Kakudmi. I don't know how many of you heard about this story. It's very interesting. Before I start with the story, I need to give you a quick crash course in Sanskrit and Hindu cosmology. Then only you will understand the concept of the story. In Sanskrit, Loka means world. Brahma Loka means Brahma's world. Vishnu Loka means Vishnu's world. Yuga means cyclic age. There are four yugas. Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga, Dwapara Yuga and Kali Yuga. Each cycle lasts for 4,320,000 years. That is 12,000 divine years. If you want me to make a separate video for based on yugas, then please mention it on the comment section below. According to Hindu cosmology, we are in Kali Yuga. World will reset after Kali Yuga and we will go back to Satya Yuga. Okay, let's get back to the story. Kakutmi was the king of Kushastali, whose daughter's name was Revati. 
But Revati had some special abilities that made her different from others. Feeling that no human could prove to be good enough to marry his daughter, Kakutmi took Revati with him to Brahmaloka, Brahma's world, along with a list of warriors and kings who might be suitable for his daughter. Then he travelled from earth to Brahmaloka. Once he reached Brahmaloka, he asked Brahma who would be the appropriate groom for his daughter. After listening to Kakutmi, Brahma said, King, you have reached Brahmalok, but you have been travelling for 27 Chaturyuga. All the candidates on your list has been dead. Neither your relationships are alive on earth. The king urges Brahmadev and says, What will happen with my daughter Revadi now? Then Brahma chose Lord Krishna's brother Balarama for Revadi and sent them back to earth through a dimensional portal so that they don't have to travel again 27 Chaturyugas. It is clear here that the history or stories present in Hinduism and the Hindu text that indicates that time travel may actually take place. If this is just a story, then how did the author knew about interdimensional space travel? And how did the author knew that time is different on Earth and time is different on outer space? Okay, let's take a look at our second evidence. I heard that Srimad Bhagavad Gita contains the answer to all our questions. So I went looking there. Then I got a sloka from Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Sahasra Yug Ahariya Brahmanovida. That means one day of Brahma is equal to thousand Mahayuga. According to this, one day of Brahma is equal to 4 trillion 32 billion years of earth. This refers to the theory of relativity. It means Brahma lives in some place or in some dimension where gravity is more than our imagination. Means the time passes more slowly in that dimension. So, all these things shows that time travel is possible according to Sanatana Dharma, that is Hinduism. So, what's your opinion on this subject? You may share your opinions and suggestions with us by leaving a comment below. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.